-hmm. I really didn't have an idea that I had a talent. And to be honest with you, I wasn't thinking about singing. But I kept going in that direction until I matured enough to understand what that gift was because that's what my parents always taught me that it was. They say, God will give you special gifts. You may not understand it in the beginning, but just do all that you can do and you'll get your rewards as you grow up. You'll understand what this is all about. Then after me and the Pips got together and we went out on tour, they used to call us the little Knight family from the sidewalks of Atlanta. And we started running into these different things. It was even more harsh than they were at home. If we played a concert that did two shows, we did one for the Caucasian people upstairs and one for the African-American people and people of color in the basement. And we used to ask questions about this, said, why are we gonna do that? And so we started doing our own thing about how to make it better. We marched with Dr. King. We, we supported him in, in his, his growth. And to look at my audience now, oh my God, it's Diamond Thomas. He's leaving. When Midnight Train to Georgia broke, we were going everywhere and doing everything. We got to perform at Carnegie Hall. I mean, this is the level I'm talking about, that that particular song lifted us to. And here we are. We still here. And I'm in Georgia singing the national anthem at the Super Bowl. I hope that this anthem will touch people in a different way. We've been singing it forever. But this time, I would hope that they would feel it so deeply that it would lift them to a higher place. That's what I feel when I sing this song. This is who we are. This is how we are. And this is what we do. Get ready, Atlanta. I'm coming home. <laughs>